Okay, now here's the situation. You have a well-to-do young black couple. And the husband, hey, he's making those monies. And when a good man is taught by his parents to do the right thing, pursue the American dream. You have a beautiful wife, you want to give her the house of her dreams. Preferably in a suburban area, not too country, because you know that's a different story. Things happen to brothers and sisters in the country. But you want to do that, pursue the American dream, get your wife the house of her dreams. But if you know anything about buying a home, do your research. Check out the neighborhood, do a background check, especially if you're buying from a private owner. You want to do your research. Hell, Google his ass. It's the internet age, there's no excuses. And by law, when you ask questions, they have to disclose all information about the home and what happened in that home. With that said, hey, let's get ready for the review. is nice. Some of the um, decisions made in this film are some of the worst decisions ever made. A fellow YouTuber said this film should be called uh, She's Dumb as Hell. <laughs> I have to agree with him. But hey, you know, it's cinema, it's film, it's made for our entertainment. And, you know, for a fun night out at the movies with a date or a matinee by yourself or with a friend, this movie is salvageable and I had a good time. Now from a director standpoint, it's directed beautifully, edited really well, it's shot nicely, the cinematography is good, those things are done well. They had a great screenwriter, but some of the decisions made either by the director or by the producer, I'm not sure what happened, just a lot of the decisions made by the married couple didn't make sense. Now you fell in love with the couple, you invested in their relationship, so it was very believable. It's just when the events started happening, you know, my ass would have picked up the phone and called the cops a long time ago. If I got that kind of money and I can spend on a home like that, I'm calling the police. Your job is to serve and protect. Not always the black man is at fault in these movies. You gotta get over that shit sometime. So, Dennis Quaid is the best part of this movie. I think every actor's dream is to play a nut or a crazy person at least once in their lifetime as an actor. And he got his chance to shine and man, he has shades of shining. He has shades of just going one over the cuckoo's nest. He played a good 
good antagonist and his facial expressions. I didn't know he could make faces like that. Dennis Quaid really surprised me. This man is in his 70s. He's in great shape and he stole this movie. He was fan freaking blacktastic in this movie, baby. I loved his performance. That's the saving grace of this film. Other than that, the director is also the saving grace in this film. But like I said, the writing and the decisions made in the film are not very believable. Believable, excuse me. But you will find some great scenes, some great acting with Dennis Quaid is in the picture, man. He really creeps you out. You'll walk away from this film thinking about him more than anything else. And here's another tidbit. My brother is a security guard in Hollywood, California. Now, he was on a set for one of Megan Good's movies recently. I don't know if it was um, Shazam or this one, but he got a chance to take a picture with Megan Good. And I, and I will share that picture with you at the end of this video. So what do you think? Is it worth to go see? In my opinion, a matinee or a good date movie. And leave all sensibility at home and you won't be so mad. The film is enjoyable if you go in there with low expectations. So uh, like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below. Until next time, hey, from the heart, I love you guys' the spirit, and I love this thing we got going on here on YouTube. Let's keep it going. And yo, as always, it's just my point of view.